A few days ago, Congress dynast Rahul Gandhi rose to the platform of Lok Sabha and made his incompetency evident to all. He made an unsuccessful attempt to establish how India is just a union of states and not a nation. We told you how Rahul Gandhi made a decisive fool of himself in our previous video. Yesterday, Prime Minister Narendra Modi responded to the debate on motion of thanks to the President's address in the Lok Sabha. Today, he replied to the motion in the Rajya Sabha. Let's look at the 10 major takeaways from his speeches. Hi and welcome, you're watching TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tanya and in this video, I'll tell you about the 10 bombs that PM Modi hurled at the opposition yesterday. PM Narendra Modi stood up and attacked the Congress party as well as the Gandhi family fiercely. In his speeches, PM countered every anti-India narrative put forward by the Gandhi dynast a few days back. PM Modi, through his speech, took a dig at the Congress party tainted legacy. He also put forward the anti-people face of Congress. Number 1. The English and Congress on the same plate Taking a dig at Rahul Gandhi's Union of States remark, PM said that some believe that India was born in 1947. It is clear that Congress is unaware of the sentiment of Bharat. PM mentioned that for them, nation is not a system of power or government. For us, nation is a living soul. PM mentioned how Congress has learned the divide and rule from the English and have been walking in their footsteps forever. PM made the mention of Tamil Nadu in this row. Number 2. What does no Congress mean? PM Modi's speech displayed the shades of ex-Prime Minister Vajpayee's brilliance as he spoke. The oratory PM questioned the existence of Congress party. He tore apart the Congress legacy. He elaborated what it meant when it is said no Congress. PM speech has established that no Congress means less pain in the hearts of the people of India. PM said that no Congress means no emergency, no caste politics, no massacres of the six and no Kashmiri Pandit crisis. Like he said, without Congress, the country would have suffered far less than what it did. Number 3. Congress Government In a country of electoral politics, a party can only register its presence by winning elections and by forming stable governments. PM Modi reminded Congress of its consecutive failures in the elections since the time immemorial. PM Modi reminded Congress that the party has not won even a single election in states like Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar since 1985. In West Bengal, Congress has not been in the government since 1972. PM said that the Congress takes the credit for the formation of the states Telangana, but the same state hasn't accepted the Congress yet. Here the question arises if the Grand Old Party Congress is even a national party anymore. Number 4. Mocking Gandhi's Philosophy The Congress party since forever says that it walks on the principles of Mahatma Gandhi. PM asked the Congress that if they want India to become as Mahatma imagined, why have they been criticizing the vocal for local and making India initiative of the government? PM said that a party that abides by the principle of Gandhi should have welcomed the yoga and Fit India campaigns run by the government. Number 5. The opposition used the COVID-19 pandemic as a tool for politics. The whole world has been battling a pandemic caused by the COVID-19 virus. PM Modi also said that in India, instead of helping the people, the opposition leaders used this pandemic as a tool for politics. It's true that some of the leaders were criticizing the government's handle of the pandemic, or some completely disappeared and went into hiding. PM Modi also accused the opposition of triggering the migrant crisis. PM appreciated how the people of India were following the guidelines. At the same time, he took a dig at the opposition leaders who misled the innocent people of the nations and pushed them into an unmanageable crisis. Number 6. Immaturity of Opposition Leaders at a time when India was leading the vaccination drive from the front, the giant opposition leaders were busy calling the vaccines Bhajpaki vaccine. The opposition leaders even instigated the masses to refrain from taking the vaccines and the people of India suffered because of this. In a time of crisis, India became one of the biggest manufacturer of vaccines. Indian government not only vaccinated its 80% population but also ran a program like Vaccine Matri and supplied huge stocks of vaccines to the neighboring nations. Even the vaccine diplomacy of the Indian government was mocked by the opposition. PM slammed the opposition for this too. 
नंबर सेवन डायनेस्टी पॉलिटिक्स फर्स्ट कैजुअलिटी टैलेंट As we know that the BJP has openly challenged the other parties that they are here to put an end to nepotism in politics. Even within the politics, BJP is fighting a battle to curb cancer named dynasty politics. PM Modi slammed the dynasties who are a part of parliament as well as politics. PM also mentioned that the biggest casualty of parivarvadi politics is talent. In this row, PM Modi even invoked Congress leader D K Baru slogan Indira is India and India is Indira. Number 8 Congress confused between poor and poverty. Congress politics since time immemorial has been revolving around the eradication of poverty. There was a slogan that Indira Gandhi used for her 1971 election campaign Garibi Hatao Desh Bachao. Congress to date has been marking on the same slogan. PM said in the parliament that the Congress party has been removing the poor in the name of eradicating poverty for the last 40 years. Number 9 the responsibility of inflation The opposition has been attacking the government in the name of inflation to counter this attack PM Modi reminded Congress about the double digit inflation that existed in the UP regime PM Modi said in the present time India is the only country which registered medium inflation and high growth PM claimed that if Congress would have been in the government they would have blamed pandemic for it Number 10 Congress a party incorporating tukde tukde gang PM Modi heard the urban naxal and tukde tukde remark at the Congress the PM claimed that the Congress ideology has been hijacked with the urban naxals PM Modi claimed that there is a difference between the working of Congress and the BJP he claimed that Congress has satta bhog ke 55 saal whereas the BJP represents seva bhav ke 55 mahine Thus this time PM Modi has completely destroyed the opposition's propaganda and presented them with the actual facts and how the opposition has been a pain for the Indians for so long